Hey everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. <laughs> by a company called Lopsona. Never heard of them, no idea who they are. And they said to me, can you do a review for us on our clothes? Look, I'm a little bit skeptical because I always get a bit suspicious of websites that use pictures that aren't their own. A lot of them, I mean this one for example, the head is chopped off, but this is Mika Gianelli. She's an Australian fashion blogger from Melbourne. I've been following her for years and years and years, and I know where that dress is from. That is not a dress from Lopsona, but Lopsona is using her image, chopping off her head and posting that that's their dress. So I get very, very skeptical. And part of the reason that I agreed to this collaboration, it's not a sponsorship, they aren't paying me, but they did give me a free bag of clothes to review. I thought I would accept their collaboration request because I was like, you know what? I wanna see if the clothes that they send are actually like the clothes in the pictures. So I was like, this will be fun actually. Like if I accept it, then I can have a look at the clothes and figure out like, is it actually, maybe they're getting it from the same warehouse or something or is it like a recreation like are they going to try and recreate the original clothes that's just a little bit of an explanation as to why i decided to accept this it's a brand that i've never heard of before and i don't know anything about but uh yeah anyway without further ado archie bird bird stays yep you you know the drill in today's haul i tried to venture out of my comfort zone a little bit i bought half cute pink pastel-y things and the other half is all black. So many people that watch my videos say that they don't wear anything pastel, they only wear black, and they just like watching because they like Archie. So I thought, you know what, I will buy a few black things so you guys get to enjoy it too. So half is for the pastel aesthetic and half is for people that, you know, hate the color pink. I forget. Man, it was so long ago that I placed this order. I have literally forgotten what I got. The parcel did come to me pretty quickly after I ordered it from them. I think it took maybe about three weeks. Look guys, what is happening? We are starting off this video with a piece of black clothing. Ah, oh, hey, would you look at that? Speak of the devil. This is the dress that I was saying that Mika Gianelli was wearing. So that's why I ordered it, because when I saw her, I was like, I know that fashion blogger. I know where that dress is from. This smells. It's absolutely vile. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous about how this is going to fit me because this fabric doesn't seem particularly giving. This is like a giant black rubbish bag by the looks of it. I'm really excited to try it on because it actually doesn't seem like it's badly made at all. This mesh part here is really good. And the zipper, the zipper, let's see how the zipper goes zipping up and down. Well, it did that smoothly back this way, did that smoothly. There's actually, there's no frayed edges on this anywhere. I'm impressed, aside from the fact that it's smelling. All right guys, well this dress is 14 US dollars, which is 20 Australian dollars. $20 for this is very, very reasonable. This is actually quite well made. I do fear that the sleeves here, they don't have a rim on them. They're just like, the mesh is just loose like that. So I worry that that could possibly fray. Come off there. It's a bit difficult to wear a bra with it just because of the mesh panel. You just have to choose your bra carefully. I'm not such a fan of the, uh, what do you call this? PVC plastic look. I don't think that having it as an entire dress looks that good. It's a little bit uh, too BDSM for me. Not to mention that I don't really wear black. But yeah, Archie's like, who is this? Who are you? What have you done with Mumba? I think it's actually kind of flattering. Oh. You reckon? Like, I think it's nice how it cinches in at the waist. I like the length of the sleeves. It's quite a short dress, but because of how tight it is, I don't think it's going to show my bum because it is clinging to everything so well. It's really unusual. Uh, I'm not really going to get anywhere out of it. But if you're into this sort of style, I can actually recommend this. It does look very, very similar to the one that Mika is wearing. I'm gonna do some digging and see if I can find that original picture on her Instagram. And then let's do some side-by-side -side expectation reality shots. Next up, this is a little mesh. I think it's a bodysuit from memory. Or it's a top, I can't quite remember. Let me see. No, it's a top. I did think that this was beautiful. Look at that. How stunning is that? This is made really nicely too. 
guys, don't judge a book by its cover just because they're using other people's Instagram photos. I think these clothes are either from the same manufacturer as the Instagram photo clothes are from, or they've just made them, like they've made a copy really, really well. Like this is very nice. And then there's this denim skirt that's got pearls all over it too. This again is made really, really surprisingly well. I, I am shocked and I don't really know how to feel right now. Okay, well, in the pictures, <laughs> they were wearing this top with a black strappy bralette. Now I don't own anything like that, so I just have a white bra on underneath. It is a really, really cute top. I adore it. I think it is so nice. I want to go invest in a black bralette now so I can actually wear this without walking around like a T-Rex. The skirt is also quite nice. Fit-wise, the skirt is really, really good. I can't believe it. All of these sizes have been pretty bang on. I'm pretty happy. The top is a 16 US dollar top. The skirt is a 20 US dollar skirt. I mean, look, I'm protecting my modesty, but like, that's 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 what it looks like, just so you can actually see what the what the thing looks like. If I had a black bralette to wear under this, it would be really, really nice. Sorry to be showing you my push-up bra. These two items are very, very impressive, particularly this top. Like, you guys, I'm sure that a lot of you will absolutely adore this top, and I'm sure heaps of you actually have black bralettes too, <laughs> so you'll probably get some good use out of this. It's really pretty, and it's made really nicely as well. Okay, next up, three black items. Who am I and what have I done with Pretty Pastel Please? Oh, I'm really excited about this. How pretty is that? It's velvet. Uh, it's got a zipper on the side there. I guess that's to help you squeeze into it. Oh, I'm so hyped about this. I've wanted a dress like this for so long. Not, not that I wear black very often at all, ever, ever. But I'm really, really hyped to try that. Okay, this one is 18 US dollars which is 25 Australian dollars. It's a little bit tight, but it is really, really cute. It's very flattering. I do love the fuzzy neckline here. The only thing I'm noticing, the left strap is sewn on wrong. It's actually really, really close to here, meaning like normally the strap would be here and then this one goes all the way to the back there. But this strap is actually like sewn on at my side. So I've had to kind of like wiggle and manipulate the dress. So that seems like some pretty poor manufacturing, unfortunately. I think it's so cute though, I do like it a lot. It's a very sexy dress. I've wanted one of these for ages. I do see these online a lot and they all seem to retail for a very, very similar price. They're always under 30. They're always under 30. They're always under $30, so I think it's pretty reasonable if you really like the style. But yeah, it just seems like it's not manufactured very well. But it is a very, very, very cool, very cute dress. I do like it, I think it's very flattering. piece set. This looked really, really cool on the model. So it's a turtleneck, a black turtleneck with long frilly sleeves like this. And then it's also a pair of long black flared pants. Although they don't look very long at all. They will probably not even come down to my ankle, but they are really cool. I'm excited about that. Okay guys, well like I said, the pants are very, very short in this set. This is a 37 Australian dollar set. 27 US dollars. I think that's a lot for a two-piece set. It seems to be made, it's a bit of a tough kind of fabric. It's not particularly, it's not very soft and not very comfortable. And I feel like in the pictures, it looked a lot better than what it looks. I do really like the sleeves. I think they're really cool, really unique. Not a fan of the pants in any way at all, but they do have a pocket. So that's one redeeming point. I think that a lot of people will like this. This is a very French kind of style. I feel like I should be sitting in a cafe in Paris snacking on a baguette. I just, mm, 37 Australian dollars is a lot. Like so, so much. So I don't think I can really recommend this to you unless you're in love with the style. But I just don't think that you'd be very happy with the fabric. It's just really, it's just not soft at all. It just kind of feels like, like a cloth. You know, like a like a tea towel kind of cloth. Like it doesn't feel very nice. I feel like Alex from about. Can you please shut up? Uh... 
I have no memory of this. Okay. Look at this. Oh, I hate this material so much. Okay, so I guess the straps do up it with the buckles on the front, like that. I'll reserve judgment until I try it on. It doesn't smell, oh, it kind of it smells a little bit. It smells like a sweaty tennis court. All right, so this top is 19 US dollars, 25-ish Australian dollars. It is actually doing my boobs some favors. Like, I feel like, I mean, I don't have any boobs really, but I have a push-up bra on right now. Look, I can kind of like, fake some cleavage wearing this because it is so tight. It makes me feel like I should be in American Horror Story right now, you know, hanging out with tape. But aside from that, I guess if this is your style, you couldn't really fault this. There's only so much that you can do with this plastic and it actually feels like it's quite well made. Like I don't think that this would fall apart. Yeah, I'm very, very surprised. It's, it's extremely tight guys extremely tight. I would maybe recommend sizing up if you have breasts, maybe size up, just because I don't feel like you can really squeeze very much into this because of how tight it is. But it is pretty cool. I like it with these black pants, actually. I'm, I'm surprised. This is Alex from a couple of years ago is quaking. gigantic star on the butt. Like, can you see? I, I couldn't resist. I was like, that is so ridiculous. I have to try it. I thought this t-shirt was really nice. I've seen this online a lot. It's just a cute little cropped pink tee with red trimmings. And I feel like pink and red makes a really, really nice combination. I feel like it's quite popular at the moment. It says pink rose. It's a, just an adorable little t-shirt. I'm so excited to try that on. Oh my God, guys, I had to fight so hard to get into these jeans. I am out of breath. They're really, really stretchy though. So I did get into them eventually. However, this is sewn shut. I don't understand. The, it's literally sewn closed. So I, I can't actually do the button up. I have, has anyone ever experienced that before? Am I supposed to take scissors to it and cut the slit open? I have literally never, ever experienced that before. But let's have a look at them from the back. I actually, you know, I'm really quite surprised because as far as jeans go, these are actually like very, very nice. They feel so good and because of how stretchy they are, they're actually really, really comfortable to wear. So I feel like you could order these at your own risk. <laughs> like they're $30, so it's a little bit much, but I, I guess that's, is that cheap for denim? I'm not sure, I don't really buy very much denim, but hey, it, it's up to you guys. If you like the look of them, maybe if you have shorter legs, Look, I, I don't like the length of them. In the images online, they did look like they were way longer and they looked like they had much more of a flare at the bottom. These don't flare out very far. I just think they look really awkward on my height. Look, there's not much I can really say about this top other than it's adorable, it's fantastic. It's not too sheer. You can kind of see my bra a little bit, but it is a white bra. This top, love it. It's an adorable design. It fits really nicely. It's made of a really soft material. It's very stretchy too. The jeans? I just don't know, like they're very stretchy. So I guess you can kind of fit into them eventually, but, and uh, the star is kind of cool too. It's very attention grabbing, that's for sure. But I, I, I don't know, is that is that normal? Do you normally have to cut a hole in your pants so that you can fit the button? That's a bit strange. But aside from that, I'm really impressed. I kind of feel like I should be going to like an indie rock festival or something. I just want to share something funny with you guys. So the uh, Top Shap Moto, as this tag says, it's got a little message on it. And it says, to my girls, the best color in the whole world is the one that looks good on you. The best dress in the whole world is the one that looks good on you. Trust me, you deserve more. Gotta love a, a poorly translated motivational speech. Sam thought that they were Jeffree Star merch when he saw me turn around. <laughs> so, uh, hey, get up, get, 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 get. What a naughty bird. If, if you like stars or you like Jeffree Star or Patrick Star, then I guess, I guess you'll enjoy these. I 
I think these are jeans from memory. Ah yes, these are jeans with little pearls all over them. I'm always very, very nervous about jeans that I buy from somewhat skeptical websites because I don't have very much faith in the sizing. I mean, I have no luck at places like Boohoo, so I, I'm interested to see if these ones fit me. These fit really, really nicely. They're high-waisted. I love high-waisted jeans. They're super comfortable. They weren't hard to put on at all. The pockets are real. I just had a an internal free out just them thinking they weren't, but, but they're real, so that's fantastic. The only issue with them that is making me feel a bit uncomfortable is this. Can you, can you see that? I feel, I mean, I don't have very big thighs, but like there is skin, like fatty kind of skin poking through this and it's not flattering at all. Like it's really lumpy. If I was to sit down, like look, that is so unflattering. I absolutely hate that. You know what, actually, that kind of looks like a bum wearing a G-string. <laughs> I would be tempted to wear fishnet stockings under these maybe just to kind of disguise just how obvious that bulge is of my thigh. Like particularly my upper thighs are much less toned than other places on my body. So I have very, very soft, like flabby kind of skin just up here from when I lost weight. So it, it's sticking out in the most unflattering way imaginable. The fit is very, very accurate. I really like how high they come up on the waist. I love them so much. I can definitely recommend them if you don't mind your thighs sticking out. Like, like that is, that's just, that's not nice. <laughs> This next one is a dress. It's a black stripy dress like this. I thought that this looked really cool online. I feel like that's a very trendy style right now with the O-rings. Well, this is a 26 Australian dollar dress, which is 19 US dollars. It's awful. <laughs> I got this in a small, so technically my size. It's gaping, bagging around here really, really, really badly. Like, it's not flattering in the slightest. And I thought that these straps would be the sort of straps that you could pull on and it would be adjustable, but they actually, they're actually sewn in place like that. I think this is so terrible. It's just not flattering in any way whatsoever. I don't think for $26 this is worth it at all. I think it's probably the sort of thing you would pick up for five dollars at Wish and you would still be disappointed with how much you paid for it. Maybe it's a body shape thing, maybe it's a size thing, like they didn't offer any smaller size than a size small, but the other things are in a size small and they fit me okay, so I'm just not sure what is going on with this, but it's extremely unflattering. <laughs> don't like it at all. from memory. Ah yes, this is just a plain white tennis skirt and wow, this is made really surprisingly well. Like this fabric is very, very thick. It's got an American flag on it. That doesn't mean it's made in America, does it? Is this made in America? I will be shaken to my core if this is actually made in America. Like it's, look, it's got, it has this little American flag on it just here. I, I don't, there's no other information, so I don't know, but that's made exceptionally well. I'm so surprised by that. I got some stockings, which I will try on with that skirt. This next top is so exciting for me because this is another thing that I've seen on a lot of different people's Instagram accounts and I've always wanted to get one. I know a lot of different stores sell this top. It's just a pink cami with like fluffy trim around the edges, but I think it's lovely. Wow, I have a lot to say about this outfit. So this top, it's very tight and the fabric doesn't stretch very much at all. So I'm, I'm just not really sure about this because it kind of digs in a little bit around here under the arms. At the same time, it does feel comfortable. It's just up here. It seems a little tiny bit tight, but the rest of it feels okay though. I really like the straps. I really love thin straps and this, it's just so pretty. This skirt is obviously extremely short. It does have built-in shorts, but I don't know if uh, I'm ever going to be able to wear this out of the house just because of the size of my torso. It's not really uh, designed 
skirts like this aren't really designed for people as tall as me. I also have these stockings on. Now, I lost a couple of the little diamantes when I tried them on, which I suppose is to be expected. They're amazing. I think I'm probably going to put a hole in them very soon with my acrylic nails. But as long as they live for, I will love them because they are so, so, so beautiful. Like, I think they're stunning. Can you see? Can you see all the rhinestones? Maybe. I think this is a really cute outfit. I'm just not sure if I'll ever get any use out of this skirt. Get off there. But I'm going to get a hell of a lot of use out of the top. I think the top is fantastic. And it's only a $16 top, which I think is actually really good considering how cute it is. I have seen this top on other websites though cheaper, but I haven't tried the quality of those tops. I've only tried this one for quality. And this one actually, it feels pretty good. It's just cutting in a little bit, which is annoying. Actually, also the feathery part kind of has spiky bits in it, which is a bit uncomfortable too. But in terms of the look of it, I think it looks really, really cute. So this one, it, it, it gets a pass. And the skirt gets flying colors for quality. Not very great for length for me, but if you were shorter or had a shorter torso, then you wouldn't have a problem with it at all. So yeah, and the stockings are literally the best. I absolutely adore them. Okay, this skirt doesn't have quite the same gross feeling as what the two black items had. I mean, it's still PVC vinyl or whatever, but it, it feels a lot less sticky to touch. The model looked really, really good wearing this, and this is made surprisingly well. I'm really looking forward to trying that on. I love the hot pink. I thought this t-shirt was so aesthetic. You'll see why. Look, it is a white t-shirt. It's a cropped white t-shirt, and it has moon embroidered into it. I think that is lovely. Okay guys, this top is so cute. I adore it. I just, I love the simplicity of it. I love white t-shirts that have a little word embroidered into them. I think it is the cutest thing ever. I love the little tiny pink details around here and around the sleeves. I think it's just stunning. The skirt is also very, very nice. The sizing seems a little bit off, but that could be because I have quite a small waist but larger hips. So that could be kind of throwing it off, but there's a lot of excess room just here for me. It's not really the sort of skirt you're supposed to wear with a belt. So I feel like there's not very much that I can do with that. I actually, I can't physically pull it down any lower to make it sit tighter here because like the shape of it, I literally can't physically pull it down lower. It has to sit at the height that it's sitting at. These are real pockets. Wow, wow. That's, that's impressive. But I'm digging it. I highly recommend this skirt in terms of quality. I just don't really know about fit. Maybe if you had a different body shape to me, it might fit all right, but it just, it's hanging open here a bit and it feels like I'm actually like standing inside. Like I imagine if I put a cardboard box on myself, like that's kind of what it feels like. It feels very, very boxy. But aside from that, this t-shirt is gorgeous. This skirt is about, I think it's like 20 something US dollars. And I think it's 100% worth that. And the t-shirt is like 14 or 15, which again, I think it's worth it. So this whole outfit, as far as quality goes and style wise, it's fantastic. But the, the fit of the skirt is the only thing that's throwing me off a bit. But I actually, this is one of my favorite PVC skirts that I've ever tried. As we know, I have tried a fair few of them and this is definitely one of my favorites. Okay, this top looked very, very cute. It did look as though it was meant to have a matching bottom to it, but they didn't sell the matching bottoms on the website. It, it's got fur on it, faux fur, and it says, girls do it better. That's really cute. Give it back. No, it's mine. No, it's not for you. All right, guys, well, this is the last top of the day. I think this is a really good way to end the video because this is so good. Like this is ending on a high note, which I always like doing. I feel like it's really, really well made. It's so comfortable to wear. The straps at the back cross over like that. I think it's so cute. And I just, I love the way that it says, girls do it better. Like that's awesome. This is probably one of the standouts for me. 
Maybe the black dress with the fuzzy bits along here, that was also really nice. The pearl embellished skirt, the pink skirt was also really good. The moon t-shirt, the roses t-shirt, the black jeans. You know, there's a, there's a lot in this haul that I'm actually really, really impressed with. I take back everything that I said at the start. You know, I was like, oh, this seems like a really dodgy kind of skeptical website. Now, I do still have an issue with the fact that they're not using images that they've taken themselves. They're taking them off people's Instagram accounts. It's happened to me. It happens to a lot of people. You put up a nice photo, random stores will steal your photo and pretend that what you're wearing is being sold through their own store. I think it's really dishonest. So I would appreciate it if Lapsona would maybe pay some models to model their clothes because they're really, really, really nice clothes. Everything that I tried on was great. I think maybe there was just one or two things that were a bit eh. But quality wise, they all seem really, really nice. I think that the sizing was all really accurate too. So there you have it guys. Let me uh, get Archie and we'll do our outro. All right, well, thank you so much to Lapsoda for sending me all of these things. I actually really, really like them. I can recommend this site to you guys because I think that, I think you'll enjoy the quality and I think you'll enjoy a lot of the styles. I just would really like to see them maybe using some original images. You should use pictures of your actual customers. Like, don't steal pictures of Mika Gianelli and chop her head off in the photo. However, in most of these expectation reality photos, I think it is actually the same items. So I have a feeling that they probably get these from the same warehouse that some of the other brands that sell them get them from. So anyway, I've been, I've been really happy and I, I like all of it. Don't forget to keep an eye out for the makeup video that I will be posting soon because what I'm wearing right now is Sailor Moon themed makeup and I'm doing a wear test. So I'm seeing how well it lasts. If it can survive trying all of those clothes on, I think that it's doing pretty well. So check back in a couple of days for that video. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah! Oh, this is disgusting. <gasps> ah! I'm joking. <laughs> Continue.